The band program at Waverly High School is growing rapidly. In fifth grade alone, there are 70 kids enrolled in band. In the varsity band here at the high school, there are nearly 150. At least half of these students play woodwind instruments. Woodwinds have mouthpieces that have perfect conditions for harboring bacteria. We were assigned an experiment in biology that required us to eliminate the most amount of bacteria in the most effective manner. After brainstorming many ideas such as testing phone screens, steering wheels, door handles, food trays, and library books, we felt we all shared one common interest that we cared a lot about, band. So we set out a way to incorporate something that would genuinely be beneficial to something we do every single day. We decided to test the amount of bacteria on saxophone mouthpieces. Our hypothesis states if we boil a saxophone mouthpiece, then it will remove more bacteria more effectively than Mighty Mist spray and rinsing with water because boiling causes bacterium to deteriorate and interrupts the protein structures of the bacteria. However, before we can even start to test, we have to understand bacteria and the way our chosen methods affect the bacteria. We researched and found that boiling eliminates bacteria by using extreme temperatures to kill bacteria because most germs fall apart when too hot, especially too hot and wet. It uses heat to damage structural components and the amino acid chains fall apart. We expect this method to work the best. The Mighty Mist spray works because it contains isopropyl alcohol. Isopropyl alcohol disinfects by disrupting the shape of proteins so that the protein loses its biological activity and can no longer function. A water rinse works by purely washing away the bacteria due to there being no chemicals involved. We also spent a long time simply narrowing it down to these three methods. We found other methods that included vinegar, soap and water, lemon juice, and disinfectant wipes. Yet none of them seemed as effective as the three we chose. Once we chose the three that we did, we formulated a list of materials and found a process in which we could remove the bacteria once we completed the various methods. We also developed a procedure. To summarize the procedure, we planned to collect materials, test our control mouthpiece, plate it, test boiling method, plate it, test mighty mist, plate it, test water rinse method, plate it, and then collect our data. We had problems when we were attempting to find a way to remove the bacteria from the mouthpiece. We couldn't use the typical swapping technique. We expanded our resources and decided to shake the mouthpiece in water to remove the bacteria to place it in our petri dishes. During the experiment, we saw a lot of gross gunk floating around when we boiled the mouthpieces. It seriously questioned our participation in band. It was unavoidable to also plate some of this gunk due to the high concentration of it. It was everywhere. This happened every time we shook the mouthpiece with water for plating. The results showed very clearly that boiling works the most effectively. Our control, the mighty mist, and water rinse were all lawns. There were several thousand bacteria that we counted in those three. There were approximately 3,840 bacteria in the control plate. On the boiling method plate, 62 bacteria survived the rigor of the hot plate. The Mighty Mist spray had approximately 2,656 bacteria left on the petri dish. And finally, the water rinse had 2,368 bacteria left on the dish. Boiling killed around 42 times more bacteria than the Mighty Mist spray. We were shocked to see that the Mighty Mist had very little effect because it advertised to kill 98% of germs. It is safe to say that we will be boiling our mouthpieces far more frequently. At the end of the experiment, we demanded to show our band instructor, who then proceeded to preach to the freshman man about cleaning mouthpieces. Even Ms. Wendell is now questioning the health of her clarinet-playing daughter. After show and tell, we killed the bacteria lawns off with bleach and tape. We leave this experiment with a better understanding of how dedicated band kids really are.